come and welcome back in today's video i'm going to share with you how to add tables to your overleaf project so let's get started to add tables you say begin table and end table but this the begin table won't help you when you want to reference your table so begin table won't help you when you want to reference your table but the command that you need to draw your table or to insert your table to your overleaf is the begin tabula. So here you can put H, T, B or whatever to tell LaTeX where you want your table to be. So you come here, you center your table, then you say begin tabula and end tabula. So here this is now where you put your columns. So you use the horizontal line there. And then you create one column here and another column there so like that it means we've created two columns if I want I can create three columns like that so when you compile you get your table that looks something like this but let's try to put information in here so we can say And then you use and to separate or to this means that you are putting now the information in the next column so in the next column I'm going to have parameters I'm going to have parameters and then in the third column I'm going to have values so the values for the parameters that I'm writing they are going to be in the third column and when you compile you get your columns like that and then here I can write the second row so we say one and to say that you are putting now in the next column so we'll say nominal voltage which is 400 so I'll say under 400 volts and then you do backslash to terminate your row I can put another row so I say 2 and let's say frequency which is 50 hertz and then you terminate so we have three columns there as we can see here but what if we want to put a horizontal line on top on the next column they should be divided into horizontal lines so you come here on top first you do backslash and then you write H line so H line will allow you to put the horizontal line on top and then here we can also put H line here to allow us to put the horizontal line on the second column even here we say H line then also at the bottom we can put H line and then we compile we expect our values now to be in a column so now we have uh, three columns here but I want my heading to be bold so the command that you need is backslash text BF so backslash text BF but the easiest way you can do is highlight what you want to be bold and then just do control b and then when you do control b you get text bf or you can just type directly backslash text bf or just do control b so even this one i want it to be bold so i can just say control b and the values also i can say control b and then when i compile i have my information here bold okay so now i want my table caption to be on top so i can just cut this and then bring it here at begin figure here and then i have it there on top let's try to add more information to our column and see what happens so i want to make this column to be a little bit bigger so i'll say this is a very long column that needs to be terminated so when we compile we see that the information will just keep on going and our table is too long and doesn't look nice so what do we do 
you come here and make this into a paragraph so this column we make it into a paragraph and then we say p for paragraph then we open and close brackets and inside there that's where we write like maybe let's say i want it to be four centimeters so you write four centimeters and then you compile it's now beautifully displayed as a paragraph but again if i want this sentence to start below the 400 volts i want 400 volts to be alone so i can come here at 400 volts and then do backslash and then say new line so when you do new line he expects now this to start at the bottom here so this is what you get so now what if i want this information to be on the left the parameters to be on the left to be aligned on the left maybe even this one or this one i want it to be on the right so here when you come here so this c is for centering you center your information so you can just put l to say it should be on the left so i want parameters here to be on the left so when i compile i have my parameters here that is on the left so if you want your parameters to be on the left or on the right or at the center all you need to do is change here if i put c i expect parameter to come at the center and then if i put r i expect it to go at the at the right side there you go and then if i put l i expect it to go to the left like that one other thing is what if you are working in a two columns document so your document has two columns and you want this table to span through the two columns so what you need to do is you come here on begin table and you put an asterisk even on end table you put an asterisk so here because we are working in one column we may not be able to see the difference but when you are working in a two column you'll be able to see that difference so when you compile this is supposed to run through the two columns so this is all now to add tables to your latex or overleaf project for more videos like this remember to subscribe to the channel like the video share the video and thank you for watching thank you for your attention bye bye